Hello all, and welcome to Wayne's Allotment. Right, before I go any further, I'd like to wish you all a very happy new year. Let's hope that it's a really good one this year, eh? So, what have I got for you in this one? Well, I get and sow some sweet peas. And I also sow my leeks. I show you and give you a bit of information with regards to a new seed supplier that I've come across on the internet and as normal there'll be other little extra bits in there as well I'd like to thank everybody that watches my videos likes comments and subscribes so without further ado let's crack on thanks a lot Right, well it's that time of year for me to uh, sow my leeks. Um, in my last video you will have seen um, the little bit of extra ground that I now have uh, been presented with. Uh, yesterday, today is the 19th of December, yesterday I went round on the plot to dig it over. I wasn't too sure what what to expect because yesterday was a real frosty morning uh, as you can see with the, the way I'm dressed now uh, short sleeves it's uh, it's 15 degrees in the greenhouse here at the moment so uh, it's completely different again um, but yes yesterday I went round onto the plot decided to dig over some of that ground uh, and I'm I'm very pleased to put it bluntly uh, it's easy ground to dig yes it's it's full of mare's tail I think it'd be quite easy to say it's infested with it um, so I was getting a lot of mare's tail out uh, but it's a nice rich soil very dark colour and the thing that also surprised me yesterday when I was digging it over is the number of worms in the soil uh, now to me uh, worms in the soil that has got to be a good sign that tells me that it is good rich soil because there's got to be something there to hold the worms the worms aren't going to just hang around um, so yeah all in all I'm, I'm really pleased with uh, with the um, with the ground it looks like it's uh, it's going to be hard work uh, mainly because of the weeds uh, and I've got that path to move and various things but um, progress is going well shall we say it's uh, it's not uh, not looking too bad at all so without further ado let's get back to sowing some leeks right leeks um, I normally do Musselbra and I will be doing Musselbra but I've got a confession to make <laughs> I've, at the moment I've not got any Musselbra seeds so uh, schoolboy error there really 
Uh, but what I am doing is I'm doing these Autumn Giant 2. I've done these before, very pleased with them. They always uh, provide me with a slightly bigger leak than, than Musselbra. And I'm also doing, as you can see from Medways, can you read that? Snowden. These are a, um, shall we say that they're like a, a slightly larger than standard leak, more of a, a little bit of a show bench sort of leak. Um, I, I saw them, I think I got, I got these from Mulvan earlier in the year and uh, I thought yeah we'll try them I want to I want to have a go at doing as you know I want to have a go at doing some bigger veg um, as in like I've already done those Joe's long chilies and the poblanos um, so I uh, this is something else that I want to have a go at with regards uh, the leeks uh, I'm also going to sow these seeds with this using this dispenser because the Snowden are going into this root trainer. I'm going to uh, cosset them a little, these. Don't worry madam, you can't get arrested for that. Um no I'm going to I'm going to look after them a little. I'm going to sew them into this and then I'm going to place that under my grow lights because it does say on here about growing them in a a warm greenhouse it says from late january to early april don't know whether you can read that let me see that there so i know we're only december but i like to get these started early so i won't do those first i'm going to do these autumn giant I've got a pot, again, numbered up, using my numbering system. Um, I've got a pot there with sieved clover, with a bit of perlite, a bit of vermiculite in it. And all that I'm going to do, that, that's fairly damp, all that I'm going to do is loosely uh, broadcast so the leaks into this pot so next job we'll get on with that right so autumn giant 2 as i say i'm just going to broadcast so these now straight onto this compost and then cover them with a little bit of vermiculite These will stay in this greenhouse. They won't be, uh, these won't get molly coddled too much. Uh, I will, I will be getting myself some. Right, so broadcast, just sewn them loosely. These will now be covered. They're going to be left in the greenhouse here now. I will get some mussel brit. I have, uh, though I have uh, boo booed a little by forgetting to order some, but still I'm only human. And I'm only human. And they will now be watered. Here we go. I wondered where it was. Give them, give them a bit of a water in, and they'll stay out here. There we go. And they will now be left out in the greenhouse here, and be. Uh, left to uh, grow away quite merrily with any luck uh, the next job is then sowing 
Snowden in this other root trainer. So we now move on to sewing Snowden. Uh, this root trainer is all as I've got here is just sieved clover compost um, and I'm just going to fill this with that I'll use a little bit of vermiculite over the top make sure that everything is all these cells are nicely filled nicely nicely firm down and this as I've said before will then go into well it's going to go actually under my grow lights so we'll just make a slight indent in each of those and I'm going to use my little seed applicator to drop just one seed in each cell never you never used this uh, this before so here goes Well, I've got to say, had a been as wise, doing it by hand like this, I think, because I've just dropped about four to five in some of those cells, so best just do this by hand. There you go, look at that, eh? You, you've, you get warts and all with this. Or with my video, should I say? I thought that dispenser would have been a perfect tool for the job. I will get and move some of those out of there. I don't want to grow three or four in a root trainer. I don't want. Uh, I just want single seed in. single tray if possible in fact I might uh, I might have to eat my words because I'm I'm a few seeds over so let me take a few out of there and drop one or two that will do right we'll cover that over now with bit of vermiculite and we'll give it a good water in I'll put the the I haven't got the top with me at the moment that is in the house because of the fact that I'm going to have this under the grow lights I didn't see the point in bringing the top out with me so we'll give that a quick watering there we go and that will now go in the house under the grow lights as per the instructions with regards it saying that they need to go somewhere warm and the other leaks they will stay out here in fact we will put them on the bench there out the way so uh, that is it 
that swing you around that's the start of my leaks for 2020 just as a, a little extra with regards I'm just doing these leaks uh, a few videos ago you would have seen me doing some Aqualegia giant mix and the the sewing wasn't very successful there's about four decent sized plants there really come from that I will sow some more I think at the next year 2020 although it is 2020 when you're watching this um, so happy new year to you all let's hope it's a good one uh, right I've decided use these little pots bit of compost again it's just a bit of the mix with the vermiculite and perlite in it and we'll have a look and see just what these are like we'll get them out and we'll have a look and see what sort of a root structure we've got on them right let's have a let's have a fircle. Well, can you see a good long tap root if nothing else on there? So, in fact, I may put these into a slightly bigger pot than this. I don't know. I'll let, no, we'll leave it. We'll leave it. These have been under my grow lights uh, they were out in the greenhouse here for a while but I then uh, took them in because of us having a few quite a few frosts oh this is more like it that's a very good root structure in fact because of that let's get a nice and clean let's get a bigger pot for that one we'll use one of these bigger pots make a nice deep hole in there for that that is very good I'm very pleased with that one In fact, I think I might use another couple of, make sure these are all clean, yeah, we'll put this compost out of these smaller pots into here. these last two are quite reasonable sized they're as big as that last one that I've just uh, just got put in yeah very nice root structures uh, these were sown by the way 23rd of the 8th so um, they don't exactly race away when they start growing these aquilegias but I do like the flower uh, the variety is giant mix um, and as I say yes it's it's um, it's a flower I do I do quite like myself I think we all have we all have various favorites I think don't we I like uh, I like things like these and larkspur and I like cosmos and zinnias and so on. They're all all good and they're all good attractors of bees. 
look at that for a root structure. I uh, won't have to use my finger in this. Firm that down, just work the compost round with the dib, I just teasing it in. Now because they've come from inside, they don't get the label, put that into one of the bigger pots, they will now go back inside and go back under the grow lights and be watered with water in the house um, so that they don't get too much of a shock with regards temperature change. So that's, uh, that's some aquilegious as a bit of a bonus uh, for next year. Well, uh, Christmas has been and gone. I hope you've all had a good one. Um, I've, had, I've had a really good Christmas, can't moan. I've been very pleased with everything I've had. And with regards to presents, one of those presents that I've had is a chili starter set. But what I like about what I like about this one, I'll show you. If I get get this open. Have to excuse the rustling and rumbling and messing about. Um, Terracotta pots. Um, they've got got the seeds, three three lots of seeds. But what I like is these are really nice terracotta pots. What I'm going to do with actually the sowing of the seeds is I'm going to use one of those um, probably four or six cell type seed trays. Uh, sow these in each into each cell. We've got um, jalapeno, cayenne, that's not printed very well on there, so what's it say on here? Jalapeno, cayenne and habanero. And what is quite interesting is on the back it gives you, besides giving you the instructions, um, it just tells you a little bit about each chilli, how it got its name, where it's normally grown, where it normally comes from. But yes, so what I'm going to do is save these pots to use to pot some of these on. Um, I'm probably going to have more chilies this year than I've ever grown any any time at all. I, I will admit, I do, I do like chilli peppers and sweet peppers, um, but, <laughs> but chilli peppers wise, um, I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to have plenty to go at, shall we say. So uh, yeah, I just thought I'd share that with you, just show you one of the uh, one of the presents that I've had uh, for Christmas. While we're on with regards to Christmas presents, um, I thought I'd show you a um, little weather station I've had bought me. There you go, a remote weather station. It. Let me see if I can see how clever I am. Maybe not. Uh, outside temperature, inside temperature. Um, moon phases uh, you on the bottom there as well you've got sunset sunrise moon set moonrise you've got day date time and then that that is moving along there that is barometric pressure um, I think it's falling at the moment well constant it's it's dropped this morning it's, it shows you the barometric pressure there. It's showing it at 10.18 this morning. It was somewhat like 10.21, 10.22, I think. Uh, it also has a display there to tell you whether the outside temperature is falling, constant, or rising. The same there with that little display up there. 
That is the same for the barometric pressure with regards to constant rising or falling. And then the clouds and the little, that's showing you exactly what it is like. And it is at the moment, although it's quite bright, it is cloudy. And that is exactly what it, what it is like outside at the moment. Um, I've wanted one of these for a while. Um, oh, another little feature with this. Um, you see on the top there, snooze. It's got two alarms on it. So you could set it up at the side of your bed as a, an alarm clock if you wanted. Uh, but yeah, I'm very pleased with it. I've got the sensor set up on the shed. And um, once I open this, I then bought, a couple of days ago, I bought the, um, there's like a little cup to measure rainfall. Um, I've set that up down the garden. Um, so that's, that's very good actually, because it not only obviously registers the rainfall, shows you the millimetres of rain, but the top rotates, there's a marker on it, and the top rotates, so if we've had, say, 10 mm of, war of rain, you can turn it to 10, and you don't have to empty the container straight away. You then know that when you go out to it again, if after some rain, you'll be able to read off exactly how much extra rain we've had. And so it's, uh, it's just something I wanted, just, you know, I do like to keep an eye on the weather and find out what's happening. This will be brilliant with regards to uh, outdoor temperatures uh, if nothing else this morning when I first looked at it it was about two degrees uh, and it did look like we'd had a we had had a bit of a frost but yeah so that's another little uh, little present I've had bought me for Christmas right I did say to you about me having a little bit of equipment to uh, help out with regards to the allotment uh, I'm going to show it you. It's <laughs> you'll, it's a bit awkward, but you'll see what I mean when I show you. Da -da, da -da 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 -da. A strimmer. <laughs> yes, it's not the smallest of things. It's Toro. I've done a bit of research, and uh, for me, this. I think is uh, the best bit of kit for my application. It's 44 volts, that's the battery there, in fact, let's just, I think, ah, that's it, there you go, comes with battery and charger, obviously, that just slides straight on, it's got whether you'll see this uh, can you see yeah see the lights look showing you battery now charged but it's also got a slow start and a variable speed so this is the first time I've fired it up so let's see anything could happen oh I see let's As you can see, it's going to be a bit noisy in use, but you can just stop start. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what I've just done, but let's just say I've made a bit of a mess of a plant pot down there. Uh, right, um, so yeah, there we go. Serious head on again. Toro is the make. I think it was about £120, I think. It comes, the handle is adjustable. So, let me just, you pull that, you can adjust it up and down, however you want. As I say, it has the soft start on it, brushless motor, um, it's supposed to be self feed through the just 
hit that on the ground and it self feeds I know they don't always work uh, as I say brushless so I'm thinking of this for that little grassy embankment I've got um, but yes very pleased uh, with delivery that was very quick uh, came through a well-known online uh, trader goes by the name of a certain rainforest and we'll say no more um, so yeah there we have it the Toro strimmer help me out a little on the plot uh, the date is the 5th of January and I've decided that I'm going to do some sweet peas Spencer waved mix these are the these are the only ones I've got at the moment because I want to do a successional sowing uh, so rather than uh, buy a lot in one go uh, I shall uh, go out and buy some more these I've had well I'll, I'll show you let me let me let me organize it a bit better and then you can see what's going on here okay now they've been soaking in water I don't know whether that will show but you can probably just see some that are starting they've been overnight in water and you can see some that are just starting to split open um, they weren't like that when I first put them in so something's working well so we'll get them as you can see I've got this cell tray there's there's roughly 25 seeds so it's going to be one per cell tray what I am going to do with this as you can see it's a bit wibbly wobbly so I shall grab hard plastic tray and I'll put that in there it'll make it a lot easier for handling um, so we'll get on and sow some sweet peas I just need to run the water off these which um, I'll run into this container I have actually got uh, an old-fashioned tea strainer but as, as is always the case I can't find it <laughs> when I want it I can never find it so we're gonna just push those in the, the compost is my usual clover with a little bit of perlite and vermiculite mixed in uh, this uh, they won't be covered I'm just going to push these in and make sure once I've finished they are all covered up but they won't be covered with vermiculite or anything or should I say perlite um, and as I say I want to do a bit of a successional sewing so um, I've been in no big rush to go out and buy several packs um, in fact uh, a garden centre close to me I've noticed on their website they are doing some um, seed trays and some plant pots uh, that are made from bamboo they look from what I've seen there we go from what I've seen on the on the website they look plastic um, and I don't really I'm not going to bother sending for any I want to have a look at them first so um, I'm going to as I say the particular garden centre in question is only up the road from me so when I next go I shall get myself some more sweet pea seeds 
and I shall also have a look at these uh, these seed trays and pots. Right, we'll give that a bit of a water in. It's going to stay in, not actually in this greenhouse. I'm going to I'm going to put these into uh, the greenhouse next door. Um, I have also got a cover. There we go. I've also got a cover that will go over that. I'm not going to bother putting that on yet. Um, there's no forecast at the moment of any frost. So I'm going to leave that without the cover on. And uh, just put this on if there's a, any possibility of any frosts. So there we have it, that's um, Sweet Pea, Spencer Waved Mix, um, start of them now, ready for 2020. Uh, the, I will do a successional sowing, um, I have got some, some more that I can use, um, it's, just, it's just twig, let me turn you around, I'm, I'm talking to, there we go. It's just twigged to me. I thought I'd only got these, but the penny, big light bulb, it's just, penny's just dropped. I have got some more. Um, and I know why I've not brought them out, but I'll, I'll leave them because I will use those as a successional follow on from these. So. So there we go, that's the start of the sweet peas for 2020. Um, right, to go and contradict about, oh, I'm not going to sow anymore, and with regard to sweet peas, uh, I'm going to do these. Uh, there's a variety called Cupid Mix, and they're a dwarf sweet pea. So what I'm thinking of doing with some of these, I know it's going to be totally against the grain with regard to sweet peas but I'm thinking of probably putting some in a hanging basket see how they go just I'm not gonna I'm not gonna grow these for cutting I don't think so I thought dwarf sweet pea yes they can go into a pot and I, I, I think I may put some into a pot and but I fancy putting some even if it's just around the front of a hanging basket just to see how they go and uh, it'll be something different you know instead of just doing the same old same old so uh, another seed tray I've got these all got these ready these haven't these haven't been soaked obviously so we'll uh, put these in as they are dry and the compost again is clover sieved sieved clover with some vermiculite and a little bit of perlite put into it uh, and again I'm going to do the same as I've just said with the others they'll go into the other greenhouse um, I've got uh, I've got some propagator tops that I can actually put over them if needs be um, and because I've got the the pack this pack of seeds it says average quantity 40 seeds which I thought was really quite good uh, those um, Spencer waved the ones I've just done the Spencer waved mixed they I think there was about 26 27 seeds in that packet um, this one at 40 um, makes it very good very good value really so what I'll do is I'll put these um, as I say put these in now and then I'll do a successional sowing with these dwarf and we'll try some in a um, hanging basket 
or one of my pots on the wall something like that there we go um, and again continuing with the numbering theme those other sweet peas were 13 so logic that these are going to be 14 Hey, hey, you're well impressed with that, aren't you? I bet you're thinking, he's a clever bloke, that Wayne, isn't he? 14 following 13. Yeah, I know. I just put it down to being marvellous. I think you might translate that into being stupid. I don't know. Right, let's have some water on the job. Get them nicely watered in. And again, because it's another one of those bendy, bendy trays, we're going to put it into a hard plastic one, put it into the other greenhouse, and uh, where are we? There we go. Another one of those, get that in there. Put that in there. Label in, da da, all done. So that's two lots of sweet peas done. Um, I still have got some more to do. Um, hopefully, something a bit special. Um, I can't say too much at the moment because it's out of my hands, basically, as to whether I receive them. But there's some seed that I'm after. Um, and shall we say, the wheels are in motion but whether I will actually get those seeds yet I don't know but that's dwarf sweet pea cupid mix another another one done ready for 2020 right I'd like to tell you about a new seed supplier I've come across on the internet um, they're called Aikenberry there you go and as you can see with the size of that bag 100 gram they specialize in um, microgreens and sprouting seeds now then you're thinking probably thinking what are microgreens well i'll i'll explain a little bit i've got i've got some notes um microgreens they're they're veg or herb uh seeds that you've sown and you harvest them just as they get there you go just as they start to get their true first true leaves um, they're used as garnish in dishes um, both for the flavour, texture and above all more than anything else the nutrients um, they've got a number of benefits uh, depending on the type that you're eating, uh, these claims that they can uh, reduce the risk of cancer and lower cholesterol. Um, they're packed high uh, in um, concentration of various nutrients. Um, and also, the other thing is, if you don't quite like, like with kale, now, I know uh, one or two people that don't like kale because they don't like the texture and so on. But you eat it as a microgreen, like these, and you're getting the benefits. In fact, you're getting more benefits from eating it as a microgreen than eating it for, as an adult plant. Um, my, the uh, microgreen kale has got more iron in it than the actual adult plant that I do know um, and the seeds that you can get I mean I've got here I've got broccoli um, what else have I got I've got rocket I've got mustard but basically any any veg radish chard uh, cabbage sprouts any of those type of veg you can do them all as microgreens uh, this by the way is red frill mustard and um, this is purple broccoli not purple sprouting but purple broccoli 
Um, and you've got, I mean, with regards uh, radish, it's high in vitamin C and other vitamins. Um, it's got more vitamin C than eating an, an orange, for one thing. Um, mustard, with me doing, wanting to do the mustard, that it's uh, high levels of antioxidants, uh, high in fibre, uh, and it's uh, claimed that it can help to detoxify your liver and uh, your blood, for one thing. Um, beetroot, that's another one. Um, eaten normally, obviously, for its root, but um, eating the, uh, the leaves, it contains more iron than spinach. Uh, chives, that's, an, that's another one that I'd forgotten about. Um, it's uh, claimed that that could improve heart health. Uh, lower it, it helps to lower the amount of LDL cholesterol in your blood, which is the LDL is the bad cholesterol. Uh, and it's good as an uh, anti-inflammatory. Uh, helps to repair, repair uh, skin or tissue damage, should I say, not skin, but tissue damage. So uh, if you go out jogging, something like that, you twist an ankle or whatever and hurt yourself, something like that helps. Uh, but yes, these, going back to the suppliers with these seeds, these are something like, it's a 100 gram bag, and I think they're something like about £2.30 for a 100 gram bag, which to me is it's brilliant. Um, as I say, I've shown you, I've shown you these two uh, microgreens, but I've also got peas. As you can see, I've been harvesting there. And the good thing about that is I cut these tops off, off these peas, and have those. And they'll start to come again down on the bottom. And these are in the normal seed tray. Um, those are very good with, um, in a salad, sandwich. Uh, I even have some of that uh, when I do egg on toast. As um, you can no doubt see in uh, that picture. So uh, I just thought I'd let you know if any of you are really interested in microgreens, I'll put a link to this Aikenbury site, to their website, so that uh, if you're interested and you want to get and have a look and see what they do, they've got all sorts of things. They do starter, start, start, got the dog's teeth in. Um, <laughs> they do uh, starter sets and all sorts of things. Definitely worth a look if you're interested in microgreens. Well, that's it for this one. Thank you all very much for watching. Um, that strimmer, I will get and uh, put that to the test. I might uh, have a go at uh, some of these. Just try it out on one or two of those overgrown plots, just to see what it's like. And now I've had a bit of a play with it. I'm itching to <laughs> to get going a bit with it. Uh, another thing that I need to do, I think, as well is um, get and explore that new shed I've inherited. Um, as I told you in the last video about me digging over that new bit of ground, um, how nice it is, um, and the surprise with uh, there being a lot of worms in it as well. Uh, and I still haven't uh, in investigated the shed, so that's going to be another thing that uh, I think I shall put in the next video. Uh, and I've also got some um, got some dahlias, that, uh, some seed. I'm going to have a go at growing some dahlias from seed, so uh, that should be in the next video with any luck. So, as again, as I've said, thank you all very much for watching. It is very much appreciated. Uh, be good, look after yourselves and each other, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot. Ta-ra a bit.